Around 40 million years ago, one of the strangest group of carnivorous mammals to have ever lived hunted large animals in the continents now recognized as Africa and Asia. The animal was a large heavily built wolf-like mammal distantly related to whales and cetaceans. It lived during the Eocene Epoch and its remains have been found in Mongolia. Whilst being a carnivore, it did not latch onto its victims with powerful claws like lions and instead chased down its prey on hooves like a herbivore. The animal that I just described is known as Andosuchus and is one of the most poorly understood and mysterious animals to have ever inhabited our planet. For starters, it is only known to science by a few bones and one fossil skull, discovered in 1923. The skull, which looks very much like a wolf's, is about 3 feet long. Paleontologists have built up an impression of the rest of the animal's body, based upon a close relative, the group of mammals known as Mesonetics. If their impressions are correct, Andrusugus was about 6 feet tall and 13 feet long. However, paleontologists are the first to caution that at this moment, no realistic sure guess of the animal's size can be made. Until more fossil data is collected, it is currently all just a guess. However, if it was that size, it would mean that Andrusugus was one of the largest carnivorous mammals ever to walk on solid ground. While it's easy to envision this giant megafauna mammal as having a robust muscular build, it's important to keep in mind that a giant skull does not necessarily mean that the rest of the body was giant size. Just look at the comically large-headed modern warthog as an example. In spite of their canine-like appearance, Andosuchus was not related to modern scavengers and predators such as dogs, wolves, or even hyenas. In fact, their nearest modern relatives are animals like hippos and whales. One of the most amazing things about Andrusuchus is that it lived during a time when mammals were just beginning to achieve giant sizes during the Eocene Epoch from about 45 to 35 million years ago. Just after the previous epochs in which mammals were confined to tiny sizes due to the giant dinosaurs that dominated the land prior. The size of this predator indicates that mammals may have grown much bigger and much faster than previously suspected. This is because it has long been suspected that after the KT mass extinction, it took many millions of years for mammals to start to grow to enormous sizes. If Androsuchus had a predatory lifestyle, it would also mean that this area of Central Asia during the Eocene Epoch would have been well stocked with comparatively sized plant-eating prey perhaps with animals that are yet to be discovered. I think it goes without saying that Androsuchus would have been an absolute terror to the herbivores during its time. It would have also probably had a large hump on its back. In similar sized animals with large heads, the muscles attaching the skull to the spine produces a prominent hump along the upper back. Of course, without further fossil evidence, we may never know for sure what type of body was attached to Androsuchus' head. One other fact about Androsuchus, something which is based more on the scientific fact, is that this carnival had enormously powerful jaws. Because, otherwise, there is just no real reason for this animal to have evolved to possess such a large skull. It probably wielded some of the strongest jaws ever to have evolved in a land mammal, capable of biting through large bones if needed. Judging from its immense powerful jaws and the coastal location where its skull fossil was discovered, Andrusuchus might have fed on beached primitive whales, shellfish, and hard-shelled turtles, and contemporary large mammals at various points during its existence. Towards the end of the Eocene, very large mammals such as Bonthotheres had evolved in the region of Central Asia, mammals that Andrusuchus might have fed on. Androsuchus' exact place in the mammal family tree is still debated. However, it was originally classified upon its discovery in the clade of mammals known as Mesonachia, due to the similarity in structure between its teeth and skull with those of other Mesonachia species known from complete skeletons. Mesonachia is an extinct taxon of small to large sized carnivorous ungulates. Ungulates are a clade of typically hoofed herbivorous quadrupedal mammals. Species in this clade include rhinos, pigs, and sheep. 
Mesonychia is considered to be related to artiodactyls, which is the group that includes pigs, peccaries, hippopotamuses, as well as many others. Mesonychia first appeared in the early Paleocene, and went into a sharp decline at the end of the Eocene, and died out entirely when the last genus, the Molothrists, became extinct in the early Oligocene. More recent studies have disproven the theory of Androsuchus belonging into Mesonychia, and instead grouping it with various artiodactyl clades. One study in 2009 found them to be closer to the mammals known as entelodonts, in the clade known as Sedentamontomorpha. Androsuchus's weight has been estimated to have been about 800 kilos, with some especially large specimens possibly being able to exceed that range, and perhaps grow over 1,000 kilos, or about 1 ton. Androsuchus was likely a scavenger and hunter, it would have likely eaten any prey item available. Fossil hunters have found most Mesonychia remains near rivers and coasts, suggesting that this was the place where they lived and hunted. Given its tooth structure, the musculature of its jaws, and the fact that its single skull was discovered along the shoreline, some scientists have speculated that Androsuchus mostly fed on hard-shell mollusks and turtles. However, we don't know whether or not the specimen wound up on the beach naturally or by an accident, and there's no reason to rule out the possibility that Androsuchus was omnivorous, perhaps supplementing its diet with seaweed or beached whales. It is interesting that this creature belongs to ungulates, from which hippos and cetaceans belong to. Not exactly the animals that you associate with carnivorous animals like Androsuchus. Pictures show this animal as a canine with a long snout with striped or spotted fur. The truth is, it is currently impossible to know what the colour of this animal's fur would have been. Despite their enormous jaws and very sturdy teeth, Androsuchus did not have teeth adapted for tearing flesh apart. Judging by its size, Androsuchus most likely fed on large animals, such as the extinct Bronthotheus, which were amongst one of the largest herbivorous mammals at the time, possibly both hunting them and scavenging already dead carcasses. Androsuchus lived in the Inner Mongolia as well as Africa during the late Eocene from about 48 to 35 million years ago. Though Baleosaurus ruled the Eocene seas, Androsuchus was the apex predator on land, sharing its environment with other animals such as Embolotherium and Megasaurops. Due to the food requirements of Androsuchus, sources of large animals are thought to have been present in Central Asia during the Eocene, most likely on a year-round basis. When the Indian subcontinent collided with Asia during the late Eocene to early Oligocene, this event caused the formation of the Himalaya Mountains, while closing off the eastern Tethys Sea, thus changing weather patterns and caused Central Asia to dry out, ultimately resulting in dramatic changes in life. It is suggested that this may have caused a major role in Androsuchus' extinction. Well that's it for this video, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.